Okay, my name is Eddie Sparks from Hermosa Speech Marketing, and today we are going to show the power of automation, and we are going to look at Magento to shop my Shopify. Now, the biggest problem is with 301s is that there's two different versions, so we're going to go ahead and start as cleanly as I can with the beginning. All right, when you're dealing with stores, there's two styles. Do you see that there is your domain and there is your domain.myshopify.com? So um, you have to go ahead and use what I use is XML sitemap, um, but um, I can tell you that I just went to like beautyspaexpo.com slash sitemap .xml and then um, I grabbed each sitemap. You can see that I made these sitemaps. This is an index type style so you would actually have to go to each sitemap and grab everything. Um, And then what I would do is, in this case, um, just hit end. I would copy, paste, and take a second. And then I would uh, go ahead and delete the first line. Go ahead and grab this in Dreamweaver. Replace it with nothing. And it's going to do that quite some time. Blah, 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 blah. Find and replace to get everything down to where it belongs. And then what you're left with is something like this. this under control. Let's pause. Okay, we're back. Just for the sake of everything that we do here, you're going to be looking at something like this. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and rebuild it <clears throat> for you. It's going to look like that, and this is going to look like this. So the first thing that we do, this is products. You see this? So what we want to do right away is, because I can tell you to do it the way I want it done, is first we're going to go ahead and find and replace this. Notice how I left the, um, the slash in front, and we're going to go ahead and delete that also. Now this is for products. You see how this is, is products. This is pretty straightforward. So when we take this into, um, when we take it into uh, um, your Excel spreadsheet, you will see that they're in pretty much alphabetical order um, all the way down. Now, 
in my Shopify, you can see that there's some redirects, which I will automate in a second. But this is easy because they're in alphabetical order. Um, you know that it's products and it'll be easy. But you have to do this twice. You can't do it once. And I run automation. I run JitBit through the whole thing. And I'll show you how that's done in a minute because it's the least amount of clicks. And we all know that that is a pain in the butt. So let's go ahead and go to the next style of problems, which is categories. Now categories are different because it's not in alphabetical order. You can see that um, there is a ton, a ton of problems when it comes to categories. Let's go ahead and open this one. When it comes down to categories, you've got things that are not in alphabetical order anymore because PC boards, remote control, the categories start to mess with, with the alphabetical order. Now you notice how I left a, a dash and a space because when, I, when I'm tabbing through, I know that I have already automated it. So I've got this going from one to the other and the reason is is because the old URL to the new one now you say how is it old URL to the new one well the problem is is that when when they come through and they're doing uh, my Shopify to X when 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 they're when when you're coming into the subdomain what they do is they add a C name for www and the C name is this. And when they when they're in the zone file for your 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 uh, primary, they change the C name for www to the subdomain. So when the C name changes from the subdomain dot my Shopify dot com uh, to the primary, then all of this gets erased. So. <clears throat> Um, basically when they're searching when you go in Google and they hit the old URL it will now go to the new URL because they add this products in or they add this products slash collections in and you have to go from from the category you have to go from the category to the product uh, category to product category to product and it takes a long time so let's look at the the disaster that I'm working with and um, this is how I've structured it to where uh, uh, you can tell that I've got an upper section where these are complete and I've got a lower section to where it's not complete. Now I've got to have some spaces in between which add some extra keystrokes to it and uh, randomly around here, around everything here, I've got... Uh, I've got the category URLs all pasted in here because I was trying to do it one at a time and one at a time would mean that I take this word harmony, I copy it, I find it, I hit the find button, I have to click again, I can't find it. Do you understand? So you can't really do it that way. The only thing you can do is start with the old URL because you know that the, the product slug right here is going to be the end of the category. So what I can do is find, uh, I can do is copy it, find it, paste it, hit find, and if it's in the document, great. If not, I have to go to the next one. So copy it, find it, paste it, find. Oh, there it is. Now this one has a couple, HH, so let's go ahead and grab it, move over, go find, go find the H. This is massage bed, BK, okay, well now I have to erase it, but I'm putting this somewhere else too, because that, I might need that later, and now here I am again at handpiece, so then I have to copy, find, paste, find, handpiece. Come back, put it in there. 
Well, I got sick of doing that, so what I did was I used um, Jitbit, um, our mouse recorder, and I, I'll just go ahead and step you through that. Um, what I did was uh, I recorded it. Copy, find, paste, find, escape, and down. And then I hit stop recording. Now I go all the way down to the bottom, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this stuff up until I let go. Just trust me. So I've gone down to the bottom and I'm looking for the down arrow being released. Wherever it is. Let's see. All right. Down. And let's go ahead and delete all that. Then let's uh, move this. Bulk edit delays. Let's move that to 10. And let's go ahead and play it one time. Okay. That's set up. Handing discharge pump. You can notice that sometimes we run into st different situations, but let's go ahead and hit pl hit play and find the next one. So it's right there. Now I know I hit down, so um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the two handing discharge pump. And uh, let's go ahead and edit this again. Let's grab the top. And let's go down to copy. Because I don't want to waste my time. You can see all those moves. All right. Control. Keep down. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Really quick. Record. Start at the beginning. Let's delete that. Let's go down to the bottom. Got to be careful. Once. Oh, 
Okay. Now pay attention. Okay. If you hover over this, you can see that Control P is play, and we know it's only going to play once. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Grab it off the desktop. See, why is that important? Because in the long run, what you're going to do is you're going to grab these going to move them up, going to grab these, going to move them up, you're going to grab these, hold on, you're going to move them up, you know the, these are no good, can't find it, So you're going to have a nice little situation here where these ones don't exist. Now you get this macro correct, you're not going to have any sort of problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check it. So how we check it is just by hitting play. If they don't exist, it won't go anywhere. Uh-oh. See? We know that we made a mistake. And that's how you check it. Okay. So that's going to continue for quite some time. Now I can I can I can go through it again and ch and check it a different way. But sometimes there's some duplicates. So let's go ahead and move on. You can play around with that. That's the way that's done. Let's go ahead and move on to the final product. So um uh, let's look at this. So the last product I did was D7. So I'm going to come up here and look at D7. Now D7 was the last product that I did. So I need uh, all of this because I need the category URLs. Now I'm going to move the URL. Now, here's how I'm going to do this, because your 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 this when it comes to automation, okay? When it comes to automation, you're only as good as the speed of your internet. So in this case, I'm going to not have to click on anything. I'm going to use uh, Jitbit again. And I am going to paste this in to here, and I am going to paste this in to here, and I will show you how it's done. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's hit record, copy, paste, copy. Paste, save, wait, wait, stop. Okay, let's go down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and take this out.
and let's count 151, 303, that's 150 times, and we will go ahead and set this for 150, and then let it go. Now you notice that I copied it and then I moved it down. That is how you loop. Do not forget. Okay. Do you see why I wait? I wait because I don't know how long that's going to take. Copy, move over. Copy, move down and over. Because the problem is when that DNS zone file is changed, um, the, the product will go direct to beautyspotexpo.com in its normal spot. But no, beautyspotexpo.com is now my Shopify, so I have to go from one to the other. And that's the only way that you can save your fingers from doing it. Okay? And it will go through, and you need to watch it because sometimes, sometimes the link is misspelled, or you'll come back and it'll say that something is wrong. So when it's something is wrong, you have to look at it and say it'll say you can't. It, the the error message will say you can't redirect to a redirect. So then what I do is, um, we'll go ahead and stop it. Um, what I do is when it says you cannot redirect to a redirect. Um, uh, I go ahead and I copy it. <clears throat> I copy it in there, right? I, co I copy it in there. And sometimes it has a double like this, which causes an error. Or sometimes it goes, when it says you can't redirect to redirect, you go ahead and press the destination URL, and then you grab it. You grab it because that category has changed or, or the, somebody made an adjustment to the name and uh, the, the slug is different. So you take the new slug and then you just paste it in there. Okay, so that is how you troubleshoot that error message. When the error message is, is you can't redirect to a redirect, okay, um, or the second is uh, no product exists, or third, sometimes it says it's a duplicate. So you have to kind of watch your automation and how that works. So, uh, and when you get lost, okay, when you, when you get lost, you just simply hit the back button. You see that this says Kids Darlington, okay. So let's go ahead and hit this. Then we know that we're at the Darlington. Okay, I got armrest and pedicure chair, so I better go back and look at it. This says Here's the armrest and pedicure chair, so uh, that means that this one is next. And I just go ahead and uh, uh, stop it and hit play again. I'm sorry for the long tutorial, but you know you have to figure it out in the long run, and most of that stuff is done by hand. So uh, when you're doing categories, it's not in alphabetical order. So the only way to get it together is to do it a little at a time. My hands hurt because it's thousands of clicks and thousands of hands movements. And uh, you need to take that into consideration when you're trying to get this stuff done. And uh, especially for pricing, when you're trying to price it, you have to realize that, that there's 1,085 products in that store. You can't really necessarily think about it that way. You have to say, okay, there's a thousand products. It's going to take me 20 clicks of my finger or movements of my hand. That's 20,000 clicks of my finger, 20,000 movements of my hand. And that is how you price it. You just have to tell them it's going to be insanity. But once you have it scrubbed, then you actually have to put it into the redirect system because there is really no other way to do it. This is the easiest way for the system to, um, to for you to learn learn the back end, first of all, and, and learn um, I exactly um, how to use Jitbit in a loop. And I loop a lot of stuff. 
So um, there's other ways to loop. Uh, you can loop uh, images. If you're looping images, then what you need to do is go into Adobe Bridge, grab all your images, um, name them the same with a number after it, and then you can loop correctly because you can increment with a macro. Um, and then what that would do is you always start uh, a folder in your image in your image file uh, folder. Uh, you start another subfolder with with a um, underscore in front of it, like underscore one, and then you grab the first one. Uh, you, gr you grab the first one, you sling it in the folder. Uh, you then you open up the first one and you take that name and you use it for what you need it for, and then you return back to the main folder and then hit stop. And then it takes the first one, dumps it in the folder, opens up the name of the second one, uses the name of the second one in the code that you're doing. Uh, you Alt-Tab back, you grab the folder, I mean, you grab the image, I mean, you Alt-Tab back, and then it starts over. Then it's going to grab the first image, sling it in the folder, use the name of the, of, of the new first image, use, use that title in something that you're using it for, and then return back to that folder. And then it'll loop again, grab the first picture, throw it in the folder, use the name of the second folder for what you're doing, return back. And that's why I use um, uh, uh, Bridge and, and if you go into Tools and Batch Name, you can batch name all your full, uh, images the same, preferably after keywords. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it. My name is Eddie Sparks from Hermosa Speech Marketing. You can hire me to do this. I'm going to charge you up the, the yin-yang. But uh, that's, that's just a, a little bit about uh, what I'm doing today. I am in the Canary Islands. I've had some problems with coffee. I usually drink uh, regular coffee. A whole pot and then decaf afterwards so I'm a little wired but I figured you need to learn that and that's what I'm doing today um, feel free to uh, stop by my website and uh, uh, take a look at stuff that I've done uh, also um, don't forget well because I'm in Spain right now and in Africa it's gonna take a second so you guys might load a little faster um, but uh, uh, I have another tutorial on XML sitemaps for images. And uh, let's go ahead and look at that while that's loading. And you can see how I make the images. Um, if you arrived at my, I, this is all automation. So this is also a tutorial on JITBIT. Um, and you can see that I've had to do quite a bit of crap in my life, and so has my friends. Um, uh, you know, we've, we've always been doing stuff. So I've got a lot of different skills, but this is the way that I managed to store, and I've managed it my whole entire life. I feel like my, my whole professional life, I've handled this store, and um, I've just gotten better at what I'm doing. Have a great day. Um, be sure to watch the Man Minute on YouTube. It is uh, me talking and traveling around the world. Um, to, I just recently went to Portugal, which was my 67th country, and I have two others scheduled. So uh, be sure if you if you, if you if you if I really save you some time and some money, drop me 20 bucks. Um, you can sell me at ed at hermosspeechmarketing.com. You can PayPal me at reachmrsparks at gmail.com. And um, have a great day. Sorry for 30 minutes, but I think that it was worth it. Have a great day.